bottom shelf material. Looking to throw on second down. Rich out right and brought in by Moore. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On first down, Rich. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right of the yard. Off play action, Rich. Steps away to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Looking to throw. Rich, he'll hit Jackson complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Brought in by Wheaton. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Falcons are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. They'll look to throw again. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth.
fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. He finds his man complete. It's Jackson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. He was able to get away initially on that play, but ultimately not much space to roam. Great job there by them containing him because you mentioned he got away initially, and how many times does that end up with a guy taking off for 15 or 20 yards? Here, the support was there, and they made the tackle for a loss. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Tua. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. On second down, here's Barkley. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Chung of Iloa. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. They'll give him four yards there. And it's second down. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter.
So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 42 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major okay, step ready. towards getting there with that big play right there. They go play action here on first down. Flush. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Josh Allen able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, caught by London. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And off the crossbar, and it kicks back out. Needed maybe a foot or two, but it's no good as it stands. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Play action, now it's Tua. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker's spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now Saquon Barkley. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Ready, 
And they will take a knee here. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. Tua, and that should just about do it. And that kneeled down a little extra sweet. You get the win, and you knock out somebody's perfect season. Yeah, you're exactly right, because it's not a championship game yet, but the team that's undefeated feels like a champion. So you've won a little bit extra in this one. Yeah, they've got to feel great about taking a knee here. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win? So for the Giants, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll get another home date next week as the Patriots will come to town. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they fall for the first time this season after six wins to start the campaign. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So for Charles Davis and Art. Sometimes to build something really sustainable. Work on your catalog. 